this is some pretty big news, everyone. So that U.S.-Canada border blockade in between Alberta and Montana. So trucks are lined up as far as the eye can see, blocking the border. Uh, and they've all parked there and told everyone they're going to camp out just like they're doing it as part of this uh, overall Freedom Convoy protest. Uh, the police have set up barricades on the highways uh, to block people from getting through. They apparently have been trying to get tow trucks to come in and help remove uh, the vehicles. Well, guess what? Looks like the tow trucks showed up, uh, but they're not going to help. They refuse to help the authorities and they're joining in. Oh, oh, and it gets even better. It gets even better. The farmers are joining the protest as well. And so they weren't going to take any of this crap and they broke right through the police barricade to join the truckers in solidarity. Check this out. This is phenomenal. The police are powerless to do anything about it. Crowds filled up Parliament Hill once again. A bunch of truck drivers decided to set up a hockey game on the streets downtown. What could be more Canadian than that? They're digging their heels in. Oh, and speaking of tow trucks not helping out. Oh, okay, I just, I just sitting in my truck here warming up. I just got a bunch of nice fruit dropped off to me. I was just talking to this gentleman and this nice lady came by and had something to share with everybody. You want me to say it? Yeah, yeah. What what just happened here? Okay, I was just talking to a local that lives right here in Ottawa. He's been here for 30 years. He knows what's happening. And he told me that the mayor of Ottawa is, he called the tow truck companies to start towing these semis off from the streets. And every company said they have COVID. Imagine that. Yeah. Don't worry, Justin. We'll be gone by yesterday. <laughs> Oh, I don't know why, but this all just puts me in a really good mood today.